All right, there is a new dab video. It's uh, it's it looking like a short one. It says only four minutes. Okay, let's see it. They're probably gonna talk about Vanguard, right? I'm Jeremy, aka Ryan Brightman, and I'm Pew, aka Pew Pew Lasers. You might notice that Medler isn't with us today, and that's because he's out getting married. So congratulations to the happy couple. Don't worry, you'll see him again soon. Not invited to the wedding. No, but today is Thursday, February fifteenth. So anything that happens after that date won't be covered today. We really hope you've enjoyed Wait, the start of season 2020. Sorry. Anything that happens after invited to the wedding. No, but today is Thursday, February 15th. So February 15th. So they recorded this exactly 14 days ago. But anything that happens after that date won't be covered today. We really hope you've enjoyed the start of season 2024 so far. And we'll have Riot Frox on here to talk about some learnings and what we're doing next. After that, we'll be back to give you some updates on Vanguard, the new co-op versus AI bots, and a few other topics. Hey everyone. I'm Matthew Long Harrison, aka Riot Froxen, the lead gameplay designer on League. Last year, we made the decision to remove preseason and shift those changes to line up with the start of the new ranked season this past January. Not yeah. only did it give you all some additional time to hit your ranked goals, but it also made the beginning of the year a more exciting time to play League. We've Why does he say that though? It made. He's like speaking for everybody here. That's not the case, right? Like, a lot of people hate it. The fact that there was no preseason, it was so boring when all the pros were practicing on their tournament realm servers, the new map and everything, and we were stuck with a outdated, same gameplay type of game. Like, I agree, probably still better to not have preseason, but what about making preseason and last make it last one or two weeks? That way people won't complain and we can just jump into the new season. I just don't like when they're speaking for everybody, when obviously this is not the case. I've seen some awesome moments with the new changes. We're also happy with the state of gameplay balance, game stability, and the new objectives. Although we've seen a few especially funny bugs come up. We also feel good about the current state of champion balance, game pacing and snowballing, and the new void objectives, which are creating more interesting gameplay opportunities around pushing lanes. Okay, that said, it wasn't all smooth. One of our big goals was shifting power from items to champions by reducing yeah. the amount of haste and stats that items provided. Yeah. We also wanted to make items more satisfying for damage-oriented classes by removing less desired stats, like health. But making yeah. these changes resulted in more burst and was exacerbated by overtuned damage items like Blood Song and Storm Surge. We've taken steps already to address this, Blood but we're song. continuing to make adjustments that. to get how he the support item. closer to where we were after the durability update. Okay. We'll talk more in depth about the MMR system in a future dev update, but I specifically wanted to address the seeding of new players as well as negative LP gains, which are two topics we've seen a lot of recently. Okay. At the end of last season, roughly half of Emerald players were in prolonged states of negative LP gains, with this increasing to 85% in Masters Plus. With the changes yeah. this season though, we've reduced this to 5%. For players below Emerald, whose ranks fluctuate a lot, there's always gonna be some periods of negative LP gains for short periods of time. But we're continuing to minimize it by adjusting those gains and losses, which will make climbs more consistent. Finally, we've fixed most of the bugs with some legitimate new players erroneously placing in gold or plat. We're still trying to improve our accuracy with these placements and continuing our work to better separate smurfs and new players and place them correctly. Overall, we're really excited at how everything is shaping up for ranked and the gameplay changes this year, but we'll keep an eye on your feedback and make adjustments as you continue your climbs. So I'll hand things over to Pew and Jeremy for the rest of the updates. As you know, at season start, we announced that Vanguard would be coming to League. You may have already started to see some of the elements hit the PvE. Vanguard is a big change, so it's important for us to minimize the impact it could have on your ability to play League. Our version of Vanguard will be customized specifically to target the cheaters, scripters, and bots we see in League of Legends. We're also adopting a rollout method that will help us learn more about how it's impacting players before we roll out to all the regions. So we'll start with one region first, We'll closely monitor everything as players get into games with Vanguard Live. So we'll be evaluating how Vanguard runs in that region and how players are experiencing it before our targeted global release in April. We'll be sure to keep you all updated on any adjustments we make and how it's going. Now let's talk about bots. All right, After you all beat still our information. PBE, they went away for a little bit for some TLC and adjustments, but they're ready to return once again. The new intro, beginner, and intermediate bots will be out in March. We'd love to get your okay, feedback once nice. again, so please read more about them in a dev blog that's out right now. All right. Okay. We also wanted to give you a rundown on the upcoming prestige skins. Uh -huh. After ah, Evelyn of and Kale get their prestige skins, it will be Yumi and Leona coming in July. We also have the next mythic Yumi. Theme. Oh my god. Crystallis Indominus. It's coming in March. 
This is a continuation of the Crystallis Modus theme, which you can read all about in today's devlog. So Kha'Zix, Zerath, and Nautilus will be receiving skins this time around, with Kha'Zix leaping out first in March. All right, that's it for today's updates. Be sure to check out the okay. devlogs. And before we see you next time, there might be a couple surprises in April. Jeremy, do you like nachos? Like, I love nachos, especially with extra cheese. Choo-choo! All aboard the nacho train. Come on. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs> what? Okay. Hit two birds with one stone. So Sorry, but... one thing. What? Hey, everyone. What was this at the end? Was this like a skin line this? Was this like a new champion this? Was this an April Fool's joke? What was this? Probably a champ teach this, I guess. What? I mean, honestly, that was so, so short. Like, what is the TLDR here? Hey, we're happy with everything. We're happy with everything. And we're happy with everything. And then, hey, here are the new skins that are coming out. So, because we want you to buy them. And see you on April, guys. We're going to have more news in April. That was the TLDR. I mean, there's probably going to be not, nothing PB learnings. Fixed 80 bucks. Heavily improved optimization, movement, and combat. Added in usage of environmental plants. Oh, so the bots can use uh, plants. Expanded the starting bot champion pool with additional champs. Improve how intra beginners bots feel. Okay. Many, uh, many, many performance passes and infrastructure changes. Okay. Cop versus AI should feel more similar to an actual PvP game. Bots can jungle, rotate between lanes, take map objectives. Enable developers to quickly iterate and scale the bots' behavior. Okay. Okay. I mean, the, uh, they probably should have done this much, much earlier years of League, but okay. So these are the new skins thematic. Pass you on flame with lightning. So if Kha'Zix passes you on, the flame becomes like lightning. Okay. I mean, the skin fits Kha'Zix IMO as we see Zard. Nautilus is kind of hard. Like, I can see Zard with the skin line, but I don't know if I can imagine Nautilus. Coming prestige skins, Yumi and Lona, Dies of Cringe. Okay, cool. Okay. The Mythic Shop rotations. And what is this? We're happy with that. We're happy with that. Okay. That was a really short one. Not much to talk about. Honestly, not nothing new, right? We knew all of this.